Um, speaking of doing your own thing, let's talk about the, the, the comedy. We got to talk about right. the skits, right. right? The right. wigs, the dressing up like a girl and things. He said like, wigs though. No? Hey, bonnets. 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 My bad. Okay. Yeah, okay. You right. My bad. No, no, no. no. Good, Correct good. me if I'm wrong, nigga. No, we can good. do that. The bonnets, the the girl imitation and things like that. Right, right. The bonnets and shit like that. Right. Tell me about face to face. Right. Because on behind closed doors, I always am like, man, this nigga gay, man. I don't like that. I don't like that. Tell right. me about the interactions face to face though. Cause a lot of niggas can say I some never shit. in my life heard somebody say that in my face, dog. That's crazy. Cause I feel like my presence. When you see me and you see a, you're going to see a grown man when you see me. You're not about to see, you know, what I'm doing on the gram on my creative side. I'm you saying a grown man. You feel me? But I can tap into that because I like to be an actor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think even when people see Jamie Foxx, like when y'all run into him, do y'all think of Wanda or do y'all think of Jamie Foxx? Do y'all think of Martin, like Shanana, or do y'all think of Martin? So it's like even Tyler, Tyler Perry, Perry. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Oh, when yeah, you yeah, see Tyler Perry and the old business, so you're not thinking. So it's all about that approach of the presence. The, the the criticism that you may see or whatever like right. because we can't ignore I, I don't know I don't know mm-hmm. when you first started doing it right. and you heard the criticism what, right. was you worried about keep doing it was you like doubting yourself in the beginning in the beginning the criticism was fueling me it made me do it even more so, then in the middle it was like alright some of this shit starting to get to me damn. but then when I transformed it and made the money off it then I said alright <laughs> y'all got me fucked up you feel what I'm saying cause now you get to live your life comfortably you get to be you know wake up do what you wanna do damn. off your talent so yeah you go through them stages for sure damn that's for what's sure. up bro what, what, like, what, what pushed you through that though in the middle when it was it was the money or I'm, I'm pretty sure it had, something had to push you through it before you got the money I was like, I ain't gonna lie people don't know them DMs and them, them comments they, they be helping though for real like you be damn. reading them you be like damn that's a positive shit it's the positive shit. See, we always looking at the negative. Mm. You know what I'm saying? One negative comment will outweigh a hundred positive ones. That's, that's the wrong way to look at it. So, looking at the comments and the messages. Damn, yeah. that's that's crazy, sure. bro. I, um, it's it's dope to see it because again, like coming from the city, I was, saw your transitions. And right. one thing I will say is, you've always been like this humble guy from the beginning. Like I remember mm-hmm. I did the little uh, not pull up, but the interview with you and Gerald. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. you was like, y'all pull up, bro. Yeah. I, I thought that was dope, man. What, yeah. what what keeps you humble like that? Cause you don't have, bro. You lit like you out, you outside for real. You don't yeah. have to be the nigga that niggas can call no more. I mean, I just live by the rules of living. In, you know, I live within my means. I don't do nothing that's not in my lane. You get what I'm saying? I feel like I'm here for a reason, so I stick to the reason. I don't be trying to do the most. And then just being humble, like you said, just go back to the Bible and just how I was raised. Like you mm-hmm. know, he wasn't really raised to be. You know, showing people, you know, things that, you know, I don't want to come off like that. If I do anything, it's more so just like motivation. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't want to just do the most. You know, I don't want to overstep it. All right, so. bro, that's crazy. Going back to the um, the the, the character, right, with the bonnet and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I, I, I talk about this because I feel like this is something that I hear a lot. You right. might not hear it, but right. I hear it a lot when I when I bring up, you like, well, da, da, da. But one thing I can say is right. it gets the girls. It does. It gets it the, and we know women are the biggest consumers. Exactly. When you went into it originally, was you thinking about Martin, Tyler Perry, um, exactly. Jamie Foxx, or was you thinking about the woman, or was it just something that you could relate to? Like, what made you go into make, doing this character with the bond and things like that? Well, I was thinking that women just more supportive at the in the beginning. I ain't gonna hold you. You get a lot of women on your side, then you really got the market. Like you said, That's a, fact. a lot of women are, you know, they out here. So it's like, if you're looking at that market, and women like to spend money. You get what I'm saying? If you go to the merch, women going to buy it. You get what I'm saying? You got a lot of women out here really turning, transforming businesses. But when I went into it, I was just thinking like Martin. Like I was trying to do my own show, mm-hmm. but I ain't had no money. So I ain't got motherfucking fucking cameras and, and stuff like that. But in the beginning, like I said, we did the Baltimore way though. That's how we was coming in the beginning. We was doing more like in the streets of Baltimore, like on the wire. Then mm-hmm. that shit ain't work out. You know how shit get, then you got to get into another bag. But that's how I started. But, what, um... um what made, what made? Cause you, when you did the Baltimore, I thought you, I, you had a lot, a lot of buzz with that. Yeah. Why, 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 why that stop? I mean, I, you know, it just it, it get to like, you know, like it wasn't making no money off that because I had music in that. So it was like I couldn't rebuild and get the the camera shit where I wanted to go. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right, we can't really keep doing this. And then on top of that, it's hard to do shit if you're not making no money from doing it. You got to look at somewhere else. Like, all right, that ain't you know what I'm saying. But now we will go back to it, but. During that time, I'm thinking like, I, I had two jobs. I was going to college at that time. I ain't had time to keep on not making money, playing around, you know what I mean? So Can we talk about that, bro? 